Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to see plateaus of Northern Peninsula. The region is also called Central Highlands and it is not to be confused with Madhya Bharat Pathar which is in many books is translated as Central Highlands. The Central Highlands is a loose classification and in some references Central Highlands are said to include Aravalis and Vindhyachal Mountains. Since we have already discussed Aravalis and Vindhyachal Mountains in separate videos, we are not going to discuss them here. If you want to watch those videos, the links would be available in the description. So the first plateau we are going to discuss today as a part of Central Highlands is East Rajasthan Uplands. The East Rajasthan Uplands are located in Southeastern Rajasthan to the east of Aravli Hills. The East Rajasthan Uplands are bounded by Aravli in the west, Ganga Plains in the north, Madhya Bharat Plateau in East and Malwa Plateau in South. The East Rajasthan uplands are low rise plateaus with height increasing towards southern side. Average elevation of Rajasthan uplands range from 250 meters in northeast to 495 meters in southwest. The Rajasthan uplands are drained by Banas River originating in Aravlis along with other tributaries of Banas River like Khari, Birich, and others. The East Rajasthan uplands has a rolling plateau topography with rounded hills and forests. The rolling plateau topography means that the lands are not completely plain but have lands rising up and down. However, the elevations are too small to call them hills. Teak, sal and acacia trees are mainly found on East Rajasthan uplands while grasslands and pastures are found on hilltops. The plateau is mainly stony. Marwar Plateau is a part of East Rajasthan uplands forming southern part of East Rajasthan uplands. The Mewar Plateau and Marwar Plateau are one and the same plateaus and it is located on the east of Aravlis. However, Marwar Plains are located on western side of Aravlis. Please remember that Marwar region and Mewar region historically are two separate regions but Marwar Plateau and Mewar Plateau are the name of same plateaus. The Marwar region is located on west of Aravlis while the Mewar region is located in the south central part of Rajasthan state of India. So politically those regions are distinct and should not be confused while studying geography. Coming back to Mewar plateau which is also called Marwar plateau is mainly formed from sales, sandstones and limestones. The Mewar plateau slopes towards east and it can be seen in the flow of rivers on this plateau. Banas river along with its tributaries flow from west to east to meet Chambal river. The Mewar plateau appears like rolling plains because of erosion from rivers. Now the next plateau is Madhya Bharat Pathar or Central Highlands not to be confused with Northern Peninsula plateau which is also called Central Highlands. The Madhya Bharat Pathar is located mainly in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Some extensions of it can be found in Uttar Pradesh. The base rock is made of basalt from lava eruptions that occurred when Indian plate passed over Reunion Island hotspot. The Madhya Bharat Pathar has mainly arid climate with very low rainfall. On the northwestern margin of Madhya Bharat Pathar, we find Bundi Hills. The Bundi Hills form the margin between East Rajasthan uplands and Madhya Bharat Patha. The Chambal River flows to the south of Bundi Hills and the Banas River crosses the Bundi Hills to meet the Chambal River. Chambal River flows through Madhya Bharat Plateau along with its tributaries like Banganga, Parbati and Kalisin. A series of dams are built on Chambal River in Madhya Bharat Pathar. These dams include Gandhi Sagar, Jawahar Sagar and Rana Pratap Sagar. The water from these dams is used to irrigate the land in Madhya Bharat Pathar. The northern part of Madhya Bharat Pathar through which Chambal River flows, numerous ravines have been formed through erosion of Chambal River. These ravines are also called badlands. The Chambal badlands are created by extensive vertical erosion of softer sedimentary rocks by rivers and streams. These erosions create steep slopes which support minimal vegetation. Grasslands are common in Madhya Bharat Pathar with very few trees and scrubs. The Ranthambore National Park, Kuno National Park and Madhav National Park are located in Madhya Bharat Pathar. The next important plateau of Central Highland is Bundelkhand Plateau. 
The Bundelkhand Plateau is located on the east of Madhya Bharat Pathar and it is spread across southern UP and northern MP. The Bundelkhand Plateau is bounded by Yamuna in north and northeastern direction. It is bounded by Malwa Plateau in the south, Panna and Reva Plateau in the southeast and Madhya Bharat Plateau in west. The Bundelkhand Plateau has an average elevation of 300 to 600 meters. The Bundelkhand Plateau slopes towards northeast in Yamuna direction which can be seen in the flows of rivers over the Bundelkhand Plateau. Rivers like Dhasan, Tons, Kane and Betwa flow through Bundelkhand Plateau. The Bundelkhand Plateau is volcanic in origin and it is formed of granite and nascent. The Bundelkhand Plateau has a senile topography meaning it is an old structure which has undergone prolonged erosion. Large scale erosion has divided the plateau into a chain of small hills of granite and sandstone. And due to heavy erosion, the region has become unfit for cultivation. Next important plateau is Malwa Plateau. The Malwa Plateau is located south of Madhya Bharat Pathar and it extends over central and western Madhya Pradesh and southeastern Rajasthan. The Malwa Plateau is bounded by Vindhya Ranges in the south and east. The Gujarat Plains are located in the western direction of Malwa Plateau, while Madhya Bharat Plateau and Bundelkhand Plateau is located in the north of Malwa Plateau. The word Malwa means goddess of wealth, that is goddess Lakshmi. The Malwa Plateau is mainly volcanic in origin. They are an extension of Deccan lava traps in central India. The lava traps were formed around 60 to 70 million years ago when Indian plate moved over reunion hotspot and the reunion hotspot emitted lava flows over central India forming Deccan traps. The basaltic lava emitted from reunion hotspot cooled down to form stairs like structure. The word stairs in Swedish is called traps. Hence it is called Deccan lava traps meaning Deccan lava stairs. The predominant soil type in Malwa Plateau is black due to volcanic origin. The Malwa Plateau is drained by Mahi river in western part Chambal river in central part and Betwa river in eastern part. The Malwa plateau has savanna type vegetation with scattered teak and sal forests. To the west of Malwa plateau lies Vindhya scarp lands where a scarp means a steep slope or cliff formed by folded or eroded layers of rock. The Vindhya range here forms series of plateaus which include Bhander plateau, Panna plateau, Reva plateau and Rohtas or Kaimur plateau. The Bhander Plateau is located in South Central Highlands of Madhya Pradesh. It is part of Vindhya Mountain Bluff. The region is mainly scarp land. The Bhander Plateau is mainly formed of sandstones and due to continuous erosion, the topography of Bhander Plateau appears to be penny plain, where penny plain means a more or less level land surface produced by erosion of a land over a very long period. Next is Panna Plateau which is located in Panna district of Madhya Pradesh and it is known for diamond mining. Following Panna Plateau is Reva Plateau which is located in northern part of Reva district of Madhya Pradesh and it is found along borders of MP and UP. Next is Rohtas Plateau which is also called Kaimur Plateau and it is located mainly in Rohtas district of Bihar. This series of plateaus gives the region a look of an elevated land with flat surface, hence the region is called Vindhya table land. Now let's discuss about Bhagelkhand Plateau which is located in northern Chhattisgarh, eastern Madhya Pradesh and southeastern Uttar Pradesh. The Bhagelkhand Plateau is bounded by Sun River and Vindhya Mountains in the north, Chhattisgarh Plains or Mahanadi Basin in the south, Chhota Nagpur Plateau in east and Maikal Range in west. The Bhagelkhand Plateau forms water divide between Mahanadi and Son River where northern region of Bhagelkhand Plateau is drained by tributaries of Sun River and southern region is drained by tributaries of Mahanadi. The Sonpad Hills are located in northern Bhagelkhand Plateau in Madhya Pradesh. They lie south of Sun River and parallel to Kaimur Range. While in the southern part of Bhagelkhand Plateau we see Ramgarh Hills. Ramgarh Hills are located in Sarguja district of Chhattisgarh. The eastern part of Bhagelkhand Plateau is made of sandstone and limestone while western part is made of granite. 